I will be going over how to delete listings and I honestly believe this is the fastest way to delete them and I will go over what type of results you can see by doing this. Not even over the past few weeks, but the past few months, we've been getting a lot of questions about how to actually delete listings. You know, what type of results do you see? Do you actually get more views that result to more sales? Is this something that we should be doing? And in this video, I actually want to explain it into depth what actually happens and how it's going to work for you. Because I know a lot of people have thousands of listings like we do, and this could take all day to do. So I kind of want to go over what you should be doing, whether whether you're a beginner, someone with hundreds of thousands of listings, and what actually happens when you do this. Now, if you are someone with thousands of listings like we are, I would probably go on to say that it's going to be extremely hard to delete all of them because even this way, even though it's the fastest, it still takes a lot of time to delete the listings. However, I am going to jump you guys over to my screen because I want to get into how to actually do this and show you guys our screen recording so you can see what I'm seeing. So just follow me throughout this little screen recording and you'll find that it's extremely easy to delete the listings. Though, like I already said, it does take a little bit of time, but you guys will see as I go over. Now that we're over on my screen, the first thing that you will want to do is sign into your Facebook. Pretty simple thing, I won't go over that. But then once you're into your Facebook, you're going to want to go to this right drop down menu where it says account and then go down to settings and privacy. Once there, you have to hit the activity log and it's going to bring you to the page that I'm already on. And then you're going to want to go on to the left drop down menu and hit logged actions and other activity. Once you do this, you're then going to get even another bar below it and you're going to want to scroll down that till you hit marketplace listings. Once you hit marketplace listings, it's going to pop up all the listings you've ever done. I've already deleted a bunch and I posted just a bunch of random items just to show you guys. And what you're going to want to do is just scroll down to wherever you feel comfortable and start deleting. You're going to hit the little three bar on the right side and then you're going to hit delete and delete. Now, this is something, like I said, it would take a lot of time if you have actually posted thousands of items, but it's a pretty simple, easy way just to keep deleting stuff. And we found that this is actually the easiest way. We've tried using Z-Drop, we've tried all these different ways, and none of them work really good. It actually like is very annoying, inconsistent, it just doesn't work. So this was the easiest way to do it. Now I know it won't be like as fast as you wanted it to, but that's why I'm gonna end up going over who this is really for and who this will really help. So just stay tuned for that, and I'm gonna jump off the screen record and start talking about that. If you guys have enjoyed this video so far, please make sure you guys like this video. It helps us out, helps the channel. Also, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications. I will also be giving away a hot product towards the end of this video like we do on every other video. And just to let you guys know, a lot of these hot products have been doing really good for us the past few weeks. So us giving this away, we know we probably lose a little bit of sales, but we don't really care too much about that. We're always trying to help you guys and help other people out. Marketplace is a strange place, so we know that even if that item dies out for us, we'll go find another one that will work for us. So if you are someone watching this, you're going to start to understand that Marketplace has a weird algorithm and a weird way of getting you sales. So just keep posting, stay focused, and good results will eventually happen. So now what everyone's kind of been waiting for, what's really the big results, you know, does this really help or is this kind of just something people do to just get views on YouTube videos or what's the real meaning behind this? So to be completely honest with you guys, me and Kyle have thousands of listings, like even on my account that I just showed you where I only post a little bit on that, we more focus on Kyle's. We literally have even thousands on that. I mean, Kyle's account is anywhere from probably 6 to 10K listings. And for us to, to go through and delete all those would literally take us probably like two to three full days. And it's just honestly not worth our time. So now you're probably asking, who will this really relate to? So if you are someone who's under a thousand listings, I would tell you guys to go and delete them all. Because we went on to Kyle's brother's account and deleted all his listings, which he was under a thousand because he doesn't post much. And we noticed that when he started posting again, he actually did start to get more views. It was nothing crazy. If you if I go back and tell you guys, you know, 
Was it worth our time to even do that? To be honest, I don't really know. It wasn't really worth our time, but we kind of wanted to see if it was. And what I'm trying to say is that if you are a beginner and you don't have many listings and you don't get many sales, then you should be doing this because it will help you. If you are someone who has like thousands of listings, then this is probably not going to help you at all. It's still worth it try if you are someone with not getting many sales and you're starting to get worried you know i'm not seeing crazy good profits if that's the case then what you should do is maybe try this but it's gonna take you a long time to delete all the listings we really focus a lot of time and energy on finding new ways to do stuff more efficiently to save our time and obviously if anything new comes out maybe even with zdrop where you can actually delete listings a lot better then we'll obviously go over that and explain it to you guys but so far this is the best way to delete listings even though like i already say i said throughout this video a bunch that it takes a lot of time it really can be worth it for you so like i always say test things out see if it does work for you Facebook marketplace is such a crazy place. The algorithm is so crazy. It makes no sense at times. It's just not consistent. So maybe by you doing this, it actually will help you a lot. Maybe you find that whatever you post for seven days, once those seven days drop and you got the sales, whatever is not a hot product for you, you maybe delete all those listings and post new ones or even post the same ones that got a couple of sales. So as a beginner, you know, this could be really crucial for you and actually really help you. The hot product that I want to go over in this video is a center console cover to a Dodge Ram. Now I actually sold a few of these like a month or so ago. And then recently it picked back up and got me a couple of sales. There was nothing crazy when it picked back up again. But I know a lot of people talk about products dying out and never seeing a sale on them again. We didn't even run ads for this, but we found that we randomly got a couple more sales on this. And I thought this was really interesting, interesting because this doesn't happen a lot. So that's why it's always good to, you know, maybe relist an item because we are probably going to end up relisting this again in probably a week or so. And it does really well. It's in the car niche. So just spam around that like we always say. And I hope you guys see good results on that. Even though this already kind of ties into what I've been talking about this entire video, it's kind of more, is it really worth it for you to do this? And like I've already explained, if you are a beginner, this is going to be crazy good for you, I think. Even though you might not see crazy results, you will see a couple more sales, a couple more views. And that is pretty crucial as a beginner. But if you are someone who posts 40 plus a day like we tell you guys to, then over time, this is going to become honestly probably a waste of time for you. And that's what we found out, especially having so many listens already up there. It doesn't matter for us to go and delete a thousand because we already have thousands of more up. If we do end up finding something that actually works better, we'll obviously make a video on that. But as of right now, I feel like that's what you guys should focus on because it's it's kind of an extremely hard thing to do, especially when you have no time. Just deleting them all day would honestly probably lose you money. Like where this will really work out really good for you guys if you have a second account that you don't post on much, that's where I think that this should be utilized because this will be the best place to get results. On your main account, you should probably just focus on keeping all those listings up, making sure you do promotions, and just little stuff like that because I think that will work out better for you guys. If this video did help you guys out and you did enjoy it, please make sure to smash that like button. It really helps us out. Also, just make sure you focus on trying new and different things. If it doesn't work, you know what to toss out. If it doesn't, it does help you. But we really just want to focus on making this video just to basically explain to you how to actually just delete listens. That was the main focus of this video. So I really did hope it helped you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.